and life goes on and on and on and on and on and oi noodle noodle. Hello everybody and welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two. And welcome back to Triple Nine. We're going to fight some people. No. At least I'm not these people. Gonna fight zero. Wait, do we is there actual combat in this game? No. Oh. This is a visual novel. Damn. We do escape rooms. How do we fight Zero, then? We fight him. How? With the power of knowledge. Knowledge? Last time, the ninth man died. Yes, Mr. Nine has passed. Because he was stupid and didn't realize the rules of the game. And also, uh, Clover and Snake are siblings? Apparently. I do not see the family resemblance. Oh, right. We also gave codenames. Yes. Our plucky cast of characters. Wow, so cool. Oh, everyone turns out okay. Fucking love Snake. Are you, uh, surprised? Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Ah, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey. You think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell. Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. Just a social experiment. It's just a prank, bro. Damn. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. Yeah, that's I mean, right. Come on, a guy's dead. I don't know who the hell this zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's got to be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! You really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. Damn. Mm. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Well, thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait, I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> and we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Y'all suck. Okay, so we're already deciding our, our split paths. So Lotus and Santa will not go in five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey, man, I just bought these shoes. <sighs> God damn it, Chris Kringle. You think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him? You got another thing coming. What the hell, man? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah, so? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine, I'll go into door five. 
I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Well, meet again. No, no, I don't know when. No, because I'll I do. meet again some sunny day. <laughs> That's not an answer. If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and snake is two. And if you add Clover's four and my one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital root of 14, one plus four is five. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root gonna be? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are eight, three, six, and five. Mm -hmm. Okay. 8365. What would our digital root be? Yeah. All right. Four. Oh. Yes, plus three plus six plus five is twenty-two. So. The digital root of 22, 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's 4. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is 4. Then we can go into door 4. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace, they would go through door 5. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door 4. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond Door 5 is what remains of the Ninth Man. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse, even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through Door 5, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through Door 5, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent? and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I, which door? So now we're finally at our first choice. Door five or four. Ah, so. We have the characters we're going with. If we're going to four, we have Lotus, Snake, and June. I mean, Lotus, Santa, and June. And that's what everyone's already decided. So if we went to five, we would be the upsetter and have to like move everything around just because we wanted to go to five. Okay. But which and one leads to the best ending? Can you op open up the uh, timeline? Damn! And you're not gonna be able to gauge that just from this because, um, this this uh, section they're basically equal. Let's just you want to hang out with you. All right. You want to hang out with you? I guess. I also want to get the best ending possible. Well, in order to do that, we have to go through all the things, so... In this run, then. Yeah. Let's just not be the upset. Door 4. I'll go through door 4 with Lotus, Santa, and June. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. This should be fine. <laughs> it's no problem this way. I should see the other four off. Looks like Ace and the others are going. <sighs> Hmm. Now then, goodbye. Be careful. Chunk, chunk. Mm. Giblets. Mm. So horrible. 
What are I'm you doing? Blind. We need to hurry. <laughs> Snake, your shoes. It's fine. Hurry. Again, <laughs> I'm blind. It does not matter. It does not matter. Are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake. Let's go. Hey, how is it over there? Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? Uh, something's beeping. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? Uh. <laughs> uh. Hey, there it is! That's gotta be that dead thing! Come on, get over here! We gotta authenticate! The beeping stopped. Whew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys, are you doing all right over there? Yes, we're fine. Oh, hey, I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color is different. You know how the red was red? Well, the dead is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same, too. <laughs> awesome! Thanks! That helps a lot. Well, we should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. Whew. Now it's our turn. I'll go first. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go! All right, let's go. New territory. Run! Oh, damn. It's counting down. We can't go back! We need to hurry and find the device. Hey, where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap! Start looking! I already am! Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh no! How many rooms do you think there are? Ah, fuck! We don't have time to count! We just need to open them all! It, it won't open! Shit, this one's no good! Same here! It's not moving! Oh! There it is! At the end of the hallway! Run! Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds! I know that, goddammit! I'm asking you how many seconds we have left! Hurry! It's the dead! Get over here! Come on, everyone! Woo! Good you. Are they all that simple? <sighs> hmm? <sighs> You sure? Oh. I'm pretty sure, besides the ninth man, I don't think in any of the endings someone dies from not authenticating. Hmm. At least from what I remember. Oh. Wait, and how do they die? Oh. Other ways. Oh. Uh, it looks like it stopped. <laughs> An axe. A mm. gun. What? An incinerator. Are there traps that'll snap us up on the way to the There's another the, door the at the end of the hallway. No. Oh. Let's try this In one. Between first. doors? No. Then how do we get hit with traps? Of course it won't open. Not traps. Other people. What do you mean other people? A key well, not other people, but people. What's this mark? That mail? No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Right. Akane was an astrology girl. Right. Well, technically, they are the same symbol, but I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, th that's right. The sun, Saturn, and Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? Yeah, so, I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Then that must mean... 
We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. The door on the left has a B92, and the one on the right says B93. All right, let's open them. I'll open B92. Okay, I'll get B93 then. One, two, three! Hey, it opened. Yeah, it did. I, uh, I didn't expect that. It was so easy. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. I can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. All right. Okay. Oh, okay, I think I see how it goes now. Seek a way out. And we're back in the escape room. Yeah. We've got two rooms to work with. So let's get looking. First off. That's a weird looking picture. You think some object might do something. It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant-like nose, sucking on a human being's brain. What the hell did that come from? What's your brain made of? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jumpy. Face looks expensive. I wonder how much we could get for it. We're gonna steal it. Yeah. <laughs> Bath. Hmm. I used a shower once, so I know. That's the shower knob. Let's see if anything happens when we turn it. No water's coming out. That's the bathroom wall. There are square tiles all over it. You know damn well there's a specific tile. Let's try closing it. Now I can see the full expanse of the shower curtain in all its waterproof glory. Mm. There's no. Suspicious. It's just a normal old shower curtain. A narrow shower. And I'm standing in it with June. Ah, uh, he's horny. This is awkward. I'm gonna open the curtain. The turtle. There's nothing there. Tank's empty too. There isn't even any water in it. A collection of full and partially depleted rolls of toilet paper. Someone was well prepared. There's nothing too suspicious about it. We 100% have to do something with the toilet or the uh, wall. Jumpy, where are you going? Going over to Lotus's room. Do you think maybe you could look around here a little more before you go? box of matches. There are matches inside, obviously. Huh. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it kind of looks like what's on the, uh, painting. No. Does it not? No? no? Burn down the door at the end of the hallway? Not gonna work, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, how's your fever? You feeling better now? Yes, I'm fine. Oh. Let me see your forehead. Oh. <laughs> Guess it really has gone down. Are you worried about me? Yes. 
Yeah, I, I guess I am. <laughs> By the way, Jumpy? Hmm? How did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D-deck. Damn straight. But is that really the truth? What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place Holy like this? Holy shit, she's gaslighting him so bad. Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Yeah. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? What's she hiding? Well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? You mean like the number of men I've dated? <laughs> Do you want to know? <sighs> don't worry. Only 18. <sighs> Time zero. God damn. Jesus Christ. God damn. Yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see. I, I see. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. You fucking liar. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yeah, I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. Oh, um... Well, if it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal? Or the janitor, or the lunch lady. No, I can barely remember any of them. Yeah, I know. Does Junpei have anything to do with Seven, like, at all? Junpei with Seven? Yeah. No. So he's really just here along for the ride. Yeah. Okay, so this has no bearing on the actual ending. Well, doesn't look like that. Look at this funky guy right here. The hell happens with that man? Doesn't seem that long, right? Mm -hmm. Looks like the drawers are empty too. How do we get the uh, thick? Jumpy, what are you doing? We don't have the time to be relaxing on a sofa. What's up? Turn around. There. Bottle. No. Oh, bottle. Bottle. Huh. We just use that to turn around. It's a bottle with water in it. This is a bedroom. You probably have it, have it here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up, you know? That my throat's dry, but I just feel a little nervous right now. Well, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, did you want to take a shower together? Yes! <laughs> Just kidding. Too late to take it back. Ah, man of culture. Mm. The bed. This looks like a child's bed. What's up? Turning red. There is a fever back. I'm fine. I think it's still a little early for that. Mm hmm. Seriously, you good? God damn, just fuck already. Now I don't have to worry about falling off. I toss and turn when I sleep. God damn! Is she horny? 
It looks like a map of the ship's interior. Oh, great find! Map screen. <sighs> this ship is bigger than I thought. Yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Must be uh, one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. Do you remember what Zero said? Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Hmm, that's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Hmm, do you think this boat is... Replica. A replica of the Titanic? A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. No way. Do you even know how much money that would take? No idea. But all they've got to do is break even, you know? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? It's the site of the worst accident in history. That's not the worst accident in history, mate. Mm. <sighs> Over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. A curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff? Mm, within reason, yes. Yeah, well, um, I, I guess so, I, to a certain extent. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Nah, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Yes, I do believe in curses. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. What? A curse sank the Titanic. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra, which was stolen from a pyramid. And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? This is the first time I've heard the two of them connected in this manner. So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right! That mummy, the priestess, supposedly, she was special. What do you mean? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. Pretty? Yes. But it, she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax? Yeah? Calcification? Mm. The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And Yes, saponification. Mm. But that's not what it was. Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? They say that she was frozen. What? They're frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all of that water was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. Even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know? Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Huh? Th nah, that seems too silly to be true. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. W well, yeah, um... 
Is she gaslighting Ice us? That doesn't melt even in the desert? Does, does something like that really exist? No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. Is there magic in this bullshit? Be prepared for this whole series, the Zero Escape series, where we have long ass tangents on just random shit that does not impact the story whatsoever. So all of that was useless information. Ah, uh, no, basically. And I think with that, we'll end it there. I've been player one. I've been player two. And we'll see you when we continue the uh, the escape. Aneurysm. Oh. Give me the information I need to proceed and let me be. I love these games. Bye bye.